These are the plaintiffs, Michael and Daniel Harding. Michael says his son Daniel attends Rutgers University, and he and six of his friends rented a house from the defendant. The thief is trying to take advantage of these college kids, claiming he spent money on cleaning after they moved out. <laughs> well, this is an out-and-out -out lie, and they're here suing for the $2,060. They're surely owed. is the defendant, William McKinley. He says he rents the college kids, and let's just say they aren't the neatest people in the world at that age. He was standing up to his knees and rotting garbage and beer cans. He deducted cleaning fees as his right as landlord, and he simply owes this disgruntled tenant and his father nothing. He's accused of conning college kids. All parties. Please raise your right hands. Welcome back to the People's Court. Next case on the docket, the plaintiffs, a father and a son, are suing to get their security deposit back after the son rented an apartment with his friends at Rutgers University. The defendant says he had to go there regularly just to clean it. It's the case of you're on double secret probation. Thank you, Douglas. You're welcome, ma'am. All right, Mr. Harding, how are you? Good afternoon, Judge. I'm fine, thank you. Okay, so uh, you are the dad and you are what, Michael? I'm Michael, yes. And you're Daniel? Yes. And you're the one of seven men living together in his house during the school year when you were at Rutgers? Yes. Are you still at Rutgers? Yes. Okay, Mr. McKinley, you are the one who rented to seven boys? Yes. All righty then. So there is a security deposit. The security deposit is how much? $1,000. Okay. And you are suing for 2060. I need you to explain your lawsuit. Judge, I'm suing for the $1,000 security deposit. Uh, pursuant to the law, I'm asking double the damages for $2,000. I had- uh, But you got back some of the security. Yes, I'm going to address that. No, you have to address okay. that before you double. Okay. Ah, okay. there's the rub. Okay, I was going to so, take it away from the top. There's a $1,000 security deposit. There is $440 sent to you. That leaves- Oh, he sent $560 to me. It's $560, yes. right? And then that get, gets doubled. That is what New Jersey law allows you to do because you can only double the amount wrongfully withheld. Yes. Is that right? Now, I know I'm right in the law. What I'm saying is you got back 440 of the 1,000? I got back $440, correct. But right. I got it. So the amount that, w that you are saying today was wrongfully withheld is how much? $560. Correct. However, Judge, what I'm saying is that when he didn't return the full deposit within the 30 days as required, at that point, I'm, re I'm entitled to double Are the you an attorney? Deposit. Uh, yes, Judge. Can you show me the law that says that you double all of it and not just the amount wrongfully well, withheld? Well, Judge, it would be doubled less what he, um, what he pays. Okay, show me what you're referring to. Thank you. This one right here. Thank you, sir. Yeah, this doesn't say what you're saying. This says... In any action by a tenant, yada, 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 for the return of monies due, the monies due would be 560. The court shall award recovery of double the amount of said monies. That would be the 560. Would you like to show me any case law that interprets the way you say that you get to double the amount that he did pay you back? Okay, one second, Judge. Do you do landlord tenant law? No, Judge. What kind of law do you do? Criminal. That's what I did. <laughs> <laughs> It's always referred to as said monies, and said monies are the amount owed. Okay. Um, I'm, I'm going to let you ponder. You got some right. case law okay. that interprets it well, your way. You let me know, but well, I don't Judge, think I that's I think it'll it. work out the same, so oh. that's fine. Well, it'll work out to a different figure, right. but it'll work out. Yeah. So now talk to me. According to you, there's $560 not paid. You agree with that, right, that you kept $560 yes. of their money? Yes. Okay. And in fact, you did that with seven people. Right, because you did you kept five hundred and sixty of each of their monies. No, but it was this one individually. Oh, yeah, I'll individually, take. seven times. All right, so they don't like it. So tell me why you are able to keep five hundred and sixty dollars of the security deposit. Part of that money was um, to pay for the utilities. I pay the utilities up front. They 
uh, send me $65 a month to cover the cost of the utilities. Okay, I don't, let me jumpstart that because I don't think you guys dispute that, right? Do you dispute the utility no, issue? No, Judge. Right, so there's an additional, uh, when you look at the math for the whole year, there's like a spreadsheet he gave, did right. you see it? Where there is an additional 175 owed by each kid, so you don't really dispute I'm that. Not, I'm not gonna dispute that. All right, that, that allows no. you to keep 175 of the thousand. Go on, what right. else did you keep money for? A lot of it had to do with the cleanup. Um, some of the cleanup was took place during the school year. Some of it, most of it took place after. Okay, now that I've after. never seen, all right? I, I have been in college. I have three, two and a half daughters in college because the little one's got one leg out the door. <laughs> I have seen, you know, it, it's repulsive. And I understand that. But I have never had a landlord say, hey, can I clean up your place while you're living there? Like, how did that come about? I, why did it come about? I was concerned with the health of the tenants. You went into their living space and cleaned their with kitchen their, and their bed. Did their, they know you were doing I didn't it? Do the, I didn't do the kitchen and the bathrooms. What'd I hired you do? professional help to have that done. What did you do during the time that they were living there? Um, two things. Part of it was in the house. That was removing uh, liquor bottles, mostly vodka, uh, beer cans, and a, a general assortment. Removing of, it from where? From the house. Where? Picking, picking it up off the floor. Where? Picking, picking it up off, off the floor. The That's an unusual thing that you're saying. I have never had a landlord go into my apartment and pick up my beer cans and, and vodka bottles off the floor. That's usually am. falling to me when I wake up. So I'm kind of wondering how that happened. How did that happen? Would he just walk in without announcing or no, is he I not being truthful? Him. Hold on a second. Tell me how that would happen. Um, I never saw him actually at the house, inside the house cleaning. Uh, once I saw him outside, I'm not sure what he was doing because I was actually walking to class, but yeah, that's all I saw. What was he? You don't know what he was doing outside? Did he ever complain to you? Hey, you guys are pigs and pick up after yourself. I had to pick up. I had to go in and pick up your bottles off the floor. Did he ever say uh, that? I never heard anything like that. Not to me. Did you ever send them any warnings about how you, you're having to clean up there and all? Because you can't just keep money and say, "Well, I had to clean up, Judge," and not give me proof of the things you're saying. I notified them by text. Show me the text. There's a variety of them. Uh, yeah, hand them all to my bailiff. Any text you had with them about the fact that I'm going to charge you to clean up in your house, and where they say, sure, we'll pay you for that. Well, not specifically oh, to your question. Oh, because see, when you keep their money for that, that implies you have a right to keep their money, which means they owe you the money, which means there's some obligation on their part for you to be paid to pick up these beer cans and vodka bottles I oh. also have photographic evidence. Hold on one second. Okay, we're here. This is all everything that hit the fan. You were handing me things that aren't what I asked for. This I, is everything that hit the fan once the end of the school year was coming and they didn't want to re-sign. Okay, now I'm asking you for, some, for what I asked you for previously, which is I would like you to show me proof that they obligated themselves to pay for whatever cleaning you're deducting. I have no deducting. proof they obligated themselves. All right, now I need you to show me pictures of what it is you had to do because you're, 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 you're deducting vast sums, vast sums. And unfortunately, no. this happens a lot when there's seven roommates, because it's one seventh sure the pain for each kid, you see? Yeah. So people just chalk it up and say, move along, you know? Did you know his dad was an attorney? No. Yeah, I tell my kids to keep quiet too. <laughs> <laughs> Good Lord, what is this? Uh, some of the things that I was compelled to clean up, even though I didn't notify what them that this? they would be responsible for it. This is graffiti all over the walls. What is that? That was there before we moved in. Was it? Some of it was. Okay, I'm sorry. You're was... shocking and awing me <laughs> no, with was... this, which I actually had happen to me by a tenant. He literally spray painted that. everything in some drug-induced craziness. And yet, that was already there. I guess everybody but thought it was cool or something? It wasn't already there. Um, some of it, some of the old it pictures showed a little bit of blue on it and an R, but not to that degree. Well, Most I guess people kind of thought that this was a free for all at that point, because it has to get painted once, not several times. What are you showing me here? Some of the filth that was left behind. Okay, what is this? This looks like an That's old wood floor, floor in the living room. Right, but what 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 are you showing me that they left behind the white stuff? Like no, the any... black stuff on the floor. I don't know what it was. It's some combination of dirt, mud, beer. Vodka. What is this next ashes. to the refrigerator? Is that how they you got it as well, or is that something you boys joined in on? Does that look familiar? Uh, yes. What's I guess that? Some, I guess someone spray painted it. What, one of your crew? 
I don't know if it was my crew or some one of our friends. But during your year? Yes. Okay. Now, what about this? These are pictures uh, on June 14th. So these are pictures when they left of junk they left behind, right? This was at the back of the house. Yes, ma'am. Yeah. Yeah, you can't leave it like that. You got to clean up. And the problem is, with there's seven of you, you don't know. Always be the last guy out. Mm -hmm. Be the last guy out. That way you can make sure everything's right, and then you don't end up, because one of your roommates is a jerk, leaving stuff behind. You know, it doesn't matter whether you left it or your roommates did. You're all responsible jointly and severally. What is this a picture of? The living room. And the what is debris, that? Some of the debris. What are these things? That's uh, leftover cardboard and debris that empty? I had to get rid of. That, empty? Uh, empty, they, most okay. of it, yeah. Okay. Okay. The what is your wife trying to say, or the bin. person with you trying to say? They had also left um, a lot of their furnishings. Oh, well, I need pictures of that, because I only saw, like, one some piece of, of it. Some of this, the, um, the wrapped cardboard in the basement. What furnishing did they leave behind? They left all their furniture. They stuffed it all in the basement. The basement was inaccessible. But you couldn't walk down the cellar stairs. The basement from front to did back was full furniture. Did you guys leave the furniture in the basement? Yes, but that's because the people who moved in for this upcoming year uh, let us keep our stuff in the basement while they moved into their rooms. And then what did you do? Did you go back to the basement yeah, yeah. and get your stuff out? It took about like two weeks, but yeah, once we got all Is our the stuff. Is the stuff still there or was the stuff taken out? Uh, it was taken out. But well, then the, they had permission by the new people to do that, and they took it out. How are you out anything for that? I was. I didn't. I'm not claiming any for that. I'm claiming okay, for cleaning. Okay, can we up. just discuss what you're claiming? All right. After they what removed their furniture. What is this? That's stuff that's still left behind. I just took that picture recently. What is that? Okay. They had plastic pipes. They had like. I'm in a fraternity. Yeah. And that was for one of our events that we used it last right, year. Right, but you can't leave it behind. No, huh? but we're using it again for this year. Well, and the people who live there now tell us we could uh, keep it there. For the upcoming okay, event. I'm sorry. People... Hold on one second. Is that there now? Yeah. Do you want it there now? No. Okay. You guys are going to have to go pick it up. Mm -hmm. Unless, I mean, like, he's telling you no. He's the landlord of those new people, and he's telling you no. He's not going to get to keep something for the fact that you've left it there up to now because you've had permission from the tenants. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Judge, the people who are there now moved in prior to my son moving out, and a lot of these things were theirs. Uh, they yeah, are but not also, that. They are also in the fraternity, and they use this. They, they yeah, but not that. That Your son just said we left it there because they gave us permission, not we gave it to them. Because they're using well, that, though, for the fraternity. They're using it. And, and, Judge, I would just note the trash that he showed you, the picture has a date of June 14th. That's more than two weeks after my son moved out. So I don't know if that trash is from the new people moving in, getting settled. What's your answer to that? Absolutely not. That's trash that was thrown out at, yeah, but at this, the end of Why does this not say June 14th? That's... <laughs> That's oh. what was there for, from the previous tenants. Why does this say June 14th? That's when I took the, the picture. Because the pictures That's were when, taken June 14th. Yeah. When did you leave? My stuff was in the basement prior to May 31st. Um, I don't remember the exact date when I moved all my stuff from the basement like out completely. When did the new tenants move in? Uh, probably like May 20th, around okay. there. So this is two weeks there. after they move out. Dad's right that you take the pictures. It's still right. their stuff. Now we're going to... How do you know that's their stuff and not the other, the tenant's stuff? Because I saw it there when they, after they moved out, and I asked them to clean it up. Was Did you guys leave that stuff, and did he ask you to clean it up? Is this I your stuff? I don't remember seeing that before I moved out. I can't speak for the rest of my group. But you moved out before the other people? I, I like, myself moved out, but I had some stuff in the Do you have pictures basement. of how you, how you and your roommates left it? Uh, I don't. Okay. <laughs> Judge, he didn't do a walkthrough with anybody, either before they moved in or after they moved out. Do you, sir, his... have pictures of how the seven of them left it? No, Judge, but okay. I have the letter from the defendant from August 6, 2019, where he says that for the cleanup of garbage outside, that he went there five times and spent five hours, and he's billing at $30 an hour to clean the trash in the backyard. Yeah, I, I have found a that picture. abusive also. Right, I have a picture of the backyard. The backyard's about 50 feet. I don't know how he spent five five hours yeah, in the I, backyard. I, I got clean, or, clean, clean or that he's charging for picking up beer cans during the tenancy. Let me ask you a question. One of the things that you are also withholding the security for is that according to you, they didn't sign a new lease and stay on when they said they would. That's right. So the place was empty how long? Only one half of one room was empty for four months. And you're charging them for that? Half of that. Why? Why isn't it all your fault? It's the 30 days. Their lease ran because out and they, they left. Because 
in December, I went to them. I said, I need to Tough. start. Did you get a signed lease? Come on, you know the answer to that. You can't seriously look me in the verbal. eye and tell me, well, they said they were going to do it. Well, did you get a signed lease? No, then you can bank on nothing if you didn't get a signed lease. Well, I have the communication with my main contact there, Brian I Comerford. I don't care. And that also says that when they finally made up their mind, it was within the 30 day of the new lease, of the new tenants coming in. Listen to me. And my a responsible landlord either has a signed lease or starts advertising because he doesn't have a guarantee. You are not a responsible landlord and you're trying to make them absorb your loss because you didn't do what you needed to do. That's why I accepted half of the responsibility. Half? No, 100% of the responsibility is yours and you can't deduct a penny for that. But the Give me the that list of the things he deducts for. There's a letter that he eventually sends with the list. I, I found I, it. I have it here. I have it. Okay. Okay, let's talk about the out-of-pocket cleaning costs for the kitchen and the bathrooms. Twice during the year, I had the bathrooms and kitchen clean. Didn't you tell me specifically under oath a moment ago that you didn't clean the kitchen and the bathrooms during I, the school year? I said I didn't. I said I had it done. Did a cleaning service go twice during the school year? I didn't notice. It didn't look any cleaner. Did you? <laughs> <laughs> that is the truest thing that has been said in my courtroom today. <laughs> Did you hear about it from someone else? Uh, once we came back from winter break, I heard that he hired a cleaning service to come in. Had he ever discussed with any of you that you guys would be responsible for that? No. Well, Do you have any proof that they obligated themselves to be responsible for that? I mean, I think it's great that you did that. I think that, you know, as a homeowner, you might want to do that to make sure it doesn't decay. Or I've never seen a landlord do that in my life. Uh, and if you want to be reimbursed for that, you need to put it in the lease, which it wasn't. So tell me, under what circumstances can you all of a sudden, once they're no longer living there, go back and pretend there's an obligation when there isn't? You can't. I didn't. Additionally, Judge, in that same letter, he says that he removed garbage and cleaned the mess, and he's billing us, and that wasn't a cleaning service. I did. I did. Yeah, I don't mind, I don't mind that, though. That doesn't bother me in the slightest. If your son is a pig or his roommates are pigs, mm -hmm. sorry, mm -hmm. and leave a bunch of stuff behind and it takes up somebody's time, that's not fair. Oh, he's talking about throughout the year five yeah, times. No, he I'm can't not, come I, into I do not want to discuss another. I don't want to waste another ounce of my okay. saliva on throughout the year. Right. We're not going right. to discuss that anymore. So, in case that did, uh, wasn't clear. So we're talking that one time, which we only have proof that of June 14th, two years after my, two, two, two weeks, weeks after my son was out, that there was trash in the backyard. Yeah, but true. I have his testimony that he was seeing it there for the two weeks. The pictures really are supposed to be taken right away so that you can prove that it's them. You know, there's a little bit of a problem with it being taken two weeks later, particularly with somebody who's telling me that he cleaned and is entitled to money for picking up bottles during the tenancy, that becomes a problem. Judge, they do have trash pickup two times a week. So it's foreseeable that if he saw this earlier in the month, as he's saying, why wouldn't it have been put out on the street for it to be picked up by the trash the sanitation okay, department? You're getting to places I don't care to travel. Right. You know, right? Well, well, that I don't really care trash to travel there. And even the new people there, okay, why wouldn't they so put out the trash? So here's what we're going to do, folks. Based on the evidence that I have heard, there's a $1,000 deposit. I find that 175 is appropriately kept for the utilities, for the excess utilities. I find that charging this defendant $50, which means you would have gotten that from seven people, so that would be plenty to pick up the trash I'm looking at. I find that you're not entitled to keep money for a cleaning that happened during the tenancy, and that means that 775 should have been returned. 440 was returned. And that means that 335 was inappropriately kept. New Jersey law provides for double when it's wrongfully no. withheld. It does ahead. not provide for double yeah, for that, in that case because the property was not vacated. The 30 days begins on the vacation of the property. They did not vacate the property. What are you talking about? By what? By leaving a few things? A few things. Yeah, no. I'm giving you $350 furniture. to move the few things. Now it's vacated, you see? You can't collect rent from them in perpetuity because you don't throw out whatever it was. Don't even talk anymore. So the 335 uh, oh. that if the plaintiff is entitled to double, that's $670 verdict for the plaintiff. Well, Mr. McKinley, you tried. <laughs> what are you thinking about what just happened? Uh, I didn't get a chance to actually present a lot of the evidence that was 
pertinent to the case. Well, she saw the a truth. good bit of it, an awful lot of it. She yeah, saw well, what she there, needed there to see. There were significant parts of that uh, uh, demonstration that well, uh, you just know what, went too fast. You heard what she said you got to give back. You yeah. okay with that? The six uh, seven, I guess. I don't know. <laughs> I'm glad it's, so, I'm glad it's over. With it. It's over, okay? <laughs> yeah. Thank you very much. All right, All right. You. so you must sign a few documents on your way out of the courtroom. The Hardings are on their way out of the courtroom now. You didn't get back exactly what you were seeking, but, uh, hey, you won the case. We won the case, and we got something back, and we just didn't want them to take advantage of these students, and I'm sure the other six students now are going to pursue this. I was going to say, do you split this with the other students? No, I think they're going to pursue it themselves in small claims Individually? Court. Yes. No kidning? Yes. Oh, that's interesting. Very good. Yes. Well, it'll be but, interesting to see how they end up in the court they go to, right? Yes, it will be. But <laughs> a landlord just can't go into your home and say, I'm cleaning it without your permission yeah. and then send you a bill for it. Thing is, they won't have a lawyer like you to help them out. Well, I don't know how Unless good this lawyer here. did today. But. Well, you go with them. All right. Well, <laughs> okay. thank you very much. Sir. Okay. Congratulations. Thank you. You two must sign thank some you. documents on your way out of the courtroom. Harvey? So, Doug, security deposit law, they vary from state to state. Landlords have to be really careful. If they withhold too much, they can be sought for additional damages. Landlords should check online to see what laws govern them in their city or state.